Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of a neat tool for creating simple animations. That tool is called Wick Editor. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. You'll find it at wickeditor.com. And we'll start by just using this blank white screen that we see here. And we have some different tools that we can use for drawing on this screen. We have here a pencil, we have a brush, of course we have an eraser. We have some tools for making specific shapes like rectangles and circles. But let's just start with the pencil tool. And I'm just going to draw my little stick figure person here. And there we have it. Now, over here, we have a tool called onion skinning. And onion skinning, when I click on it, will allow me to then add a new frame and see my first drawing and draw something next to it or over it. So let's draw another stick figure now next to it. And then let's add another frame and we'll see that the image from the first frame is now gone, but the second frame image is there. And now I'll draw my third frame image. But when I do that, I wanna change the color. I don't wanna use just black and white the whole time. So let's go up here and let's change our color scheme. And we can see we have fill color, we also have stroke color. And let's say I want to use like this nice shade of purple or magenta. And now I have that as my little stick figure color. And let's add another one. And let's change the color again. Make it green. Add a couple more. And let's add one more frame. And I'm going to change it up again, and I'll make it blue. And there's my stick figures. Now, let's hit the play button to play it back. And there's my little animation so far. But we have more that we can add in. So what we're going to do now is go over here and look at our asset library. and we can see here we have a bunch of different sounds and clips that we can use. So let's use sounds and we can play this one. We can test them all out. So let's say I want to use uh, blip number one over here. I'm going to add that as an asset. And now let's play this back, adding this to our first frame. And we can add it into our second frame, our third frame here. And let's add it up, add it in again to the fifth frame. So I'm gonna have sounds on my first, third, and fifth frame, but not my second and fourth frames. Now let's play it back. Now, with every frame, you'll see that I can also add in sounds right up here. No sound or blip, and I can add it that way. And let's now draw on here one more time. And now play the new version. So I now have my little animation. And let's say I like it and I want to use it somewhere else besides here in Wick Editor. Well, let's hit the export button and we can export it as an animated GIF file, but we'll see that doesn't have any sound. So let's export it as a video file and then we'll have our sounds. So now it's exported as an MP4 file It'll save on my computer and I can use it in any other place that I want to use this. So that's a short overview of Wick Editor. It's a neat little tool for making simple animations. There are many more features available inside it.
but this is a good way to get started just making simple animations. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.